Hi everybody and welcome to another edition of Kawagama TV where in the spirit of letting you know about new ventures and interesting places and businesses in Dorset, I wanted to talk to you and show you today the art room. Now Elizabeth Johnson is the owner and the artist whose uh, work is on display here and it really is a stop you should make in Dorset when you're visiting the area. It's in the Portico building complex, so there's lots of parking outside. But you know what? Why don't we find Elizabeth and she can tell us a whole lot more about this place, her art room, and some of the other things she's got going here because you probably don't know what a unique place this is. So it looks like we found Elizabeth and I think she's doing what she enjoys most and you really I'm thrilled that we were able to find her here this morning doing this because as you can see she's painting the sunflowers that happen to be standing right behind us it really is quite incredible I couldn't paint to save my life I don't understand how people can do this but this looks great hi Elizabeth how are you hi, hi I'm fine John great this is fantastic this is beautiful well, thank you Thanks. it's just the perfect day I, yeah, it's September day you know, what do you think of his sunflowers? And uh, they're in their, their glory right now is a lot of the garden is producing and that's a great spot for Nards to be. This is fantastic. How long have you been doing this? Well, my, this, this, I've been painting all my life. You know, I started as a kid and I had my uh, studio at my home for years. And then I had to take a, you know, a 12 year hiatus because I had four kids. Right. <laughs> and it was taking uh, too much of my time. and. And so then I just opened the new gallery here. Uh, it's been exactly a year. It opened September a year ago. Wow, good and, for you. Uh, so it's, 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 um, it's been wonderful to have it on the highway um, for more public exposure, but it's also been fabulous having it in my garden, which I've been developing over the years, and slowly it's been growing. That's great. Now, you, you really have to see this. Elizabeth mentions the garden because it's a special part of what's gone on here. Years ago, there was a canoe factory here, there were all sorts of things going on, and some would argue the land wasn't treated very well. And it really is something to see this fabulous garden that Elizabeth's got here, along with a public garden that I think, what, 13 or 14 Dorset families yeah, yeah, are, are using? Yeah, 15 Dorset families are using the community garden. And it started uh, two years ago when I got a grant and uh, to build those little um, boxes, and each family takes a box and uh, grows herbs, tomatoes, whatever, and um, that then has evolved into expanding uh, uh, to boxes uh, that are on the ground, and um, we are doing community plantings of potatoes and squash, and uh, it's more, I, it, you know, it doesn't produce a lot yet, because it takes years for a garden to, to really produce well. But it's a um, it's a start, and and it's a great community, and we get together and we consult with each other, and some are more experts in gardening than others, and they they help the novices along, and uh, it's a great meeting place. We all meet here, and in fact, Saturday morning we're meeting to dig the potatoes and uh, right. and then share the crop between us, and uh, it's just a fun you know, fun thing to do thing in to Dorset. Do. Now the Johnsons have been here a while; they're not new to Dorset. They've been here quite a while, raised their family here. And then um, Brad obviously has the portico business. Elizabeth has the art room. And in case you haven't made the link yet, Sarah Jane has pizza on earth. So it's really quite a thriving business community within a community. Yeah. Well, I think the unusual thing too about that is it's, fa it's a family working together. It's, it's different generations working together as, you know, in, this, in this whole little complex. And it's a, you know, a husband and wife and... Uh, a, a daughter, worked, she worked this summer with her brother, and you know, so it's fun. Each of us have our own little corner doing what we like, and yet we all support each other and work together. And, I think it's great. It's nice. Now, can we sneak inside and sure. see some yeah, of the that, stuff I'm, that's inside? Yeah, Let's go into the art room. So here we are, we've moved inside the art room and just give you a sense of some of the uh, beautiful paintings that Elizabeth has done and has up on display. And lo and behold, through the magic of video, there's Elizabeth again. So I'm going to join her and we'll find out a little bit more about this gallery. So let me walk in front of the frame, which I shouldn't do. But this is neat. You say you've had it open a year. Yes. And I used to be on the other side of the road, the Muskoka um, side of the road. But now I've moved to, to Algonquin Highlands. And uh, 
I used to be on the Autumn Studio Tour that you know, with Muskoka had, uh, but now that I'm here, I have to reapply in order to Oh, okay. To go all right, Auburn, cool. So. But, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do that. But you're open all fall? I'm open all year. All year. I'm open all year round. Um, now the children are in school, so um, when they go on the bus, I come here, and then I try and be home for them at 3.30. Sure. So um, from 8.30 to, to 3, 3.15, I'm here. Or else I'm, I'm in the field painting. Uh, yeah. Field painting yeah. or yeah. working in the garden or yeah. working here in the gallery. Right. So again, as, we, as we've been doing, we're trying to let you know about some of the unique businesses and places to come and see in Dorset. And Elizabeth and her family are part of the business community. They're also part of the social community. They're part of the network that is Dorset and makes it such a special place. So Elizabeth, thank you for doing this. Well, thank you, the Don. paintings are awesome. Thank well, you. Thanks. I love that one of Huntsville. Come in and see these, they really are special, and hopefully you'll be able to see the finished sunflower painting that's going on right now outside. So thanks for watching Kwagama TV, brought to you by Mountain Trout House Marina. Thank you, bye-bye.